Install the multi-channel amplifier mounting bracket assembly as shown and secure with supplied hardware. One screw at bottom. Two bolts at top. Only one of the bolts at top are shown. Route the factory radio connector on the outside of the metal dash support. Connect the multi-channel amplifier wiring harness to the amplifier. Route the other end of the multi-channel amplifier harness up to the radio opening. Note, using a fish tape may be helpful. Connect the mating connector of the multi-channel amplifier harness to the factory radio harness. Route the other connector of the multi-channel amplifier harness back around the metal dash support and tuck the other connector off to the side of the radio opening in such a way that ensures they will not interfere with the reinstallation of the radio, window switch, or dash panel. All radio connections can now be reconnected, but this time, the multi-channel amplifier connector will be used instead of the factory radio connector. Note, by using the multi-channel amplifier harness, all speaker wiring is routed in and back out of the multi-channel amplifier, but all other radio wiring is allowed to pass through uninterrupted. Therefore, all other functions of the radio, for example, steering wheel controls, remain functional. Reinstall the radio and secure with the original screws. Note, make sure no wires are pinched or crushed while installing the radio. Install the subwoofer amplifier by sliding it into position below the steering column and loosely securing with the supplied bolt for now. Replace the metal plate below the steering column and tighten the two bolts that secure the metal plate. The supplied bolt installed earlier can also now be tightened. Connect the subwoofer amplifier wiring harness to the subwoofer amplifier and slide the locking tab over to engage. Connect the multi-channel amplifier subwoofer output wires to the subwoofer harness input wires, brown to brown, green to green. Route the subwoofer harness along the driver's side of the vehicle toward the rear seat. Pull back the carpet and continue routing the subwoofer harness under the driver's side rear seat. Note, make sure the subwoofer harness will not be pinched by the rear seat brackets when the seat is folded down. Set the subwoofer in place and connect the subwoofer harness. Slide the locking tab over to engage. To install the subwoofer, release the passenger side rear seat back and move it forward until the seat back is completely vertical. Slide the two hooks on the subwoofer bracket directly under the child seat anchor points and then pull the seat back rearward to lock it into normal position. Note, do not attempt to use the child seat anchor points while the subwoofer is installed. Remove the subwoofer from the vehicle if you will be using a child seat.